Hello, this is teacher Tara and I will be your teacher for today. Sorry if na lang nakapag-upload ng video, sobrang busy din kasi and I just want to give you an update about me. That's why I decided to make a Q&A video. So, keep on watching! Okay, so let's begin. So, I prepare seven questions for tonight and I'm going to answer. Okay, so here you go. Oops. Question number one. Why do you choose Akad Sok? So, I don't know. Maybe because they are not that juicy. They accept people without experience in teaching like me. They also offer a competitive salary. That's true. So, of course, I made a research before I apply here in Akad Sok and I saw that there's a lot of good reviews about it. And I think this is a great place for me to start and get an experience as an ESL teacher. You know, <laughs> that's it. But to be honest, I tried applying to a different company before, but I failed. That's true, I failed because I am not prepared that time. Then when I applied here, luckily, I passed and I told to myself... Uh, yeah, I told to myself that this is it. I got this. This is for me. So this company is for me. Those are the things that I told to myself before and that is the reason why I applied here in Akatsu. Okay? Check number one. <laughs> number two. How long have you been working in Akatsu? Well, I started last March this year so maybe four months four months okay that's it how long is your probationary period so for those people who are asking about this question to me in skype this is my answer well i got regularized last may 6 this year so may 6 2019 so i'll just say two months before I become a regular tutor. That's the reason. Okay, number four. Are you enjoying your job as an ESL teacher? Hmm, it depends, but most of the time, yes. I'm enjoying my job here in Akadso. Okay, that's it. <laughs> number five. I'm going to make it quick. What are the things that you learned as an ESL teacher. Wow. Hmm. The things that I learned um, for being a, an ESL teacher are limiting. Okay. First, I really don't have uh, any idea to teach people because it's not my profession. But when I started working as an ESL teacher, I learned how to be patient and resourceful. That's it. Okay. okay, number six. What are the things that you didn't expect to happen in your life when when you enter this kind of job? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so my answer for this, actually, um, first of all, I didn't expect that I will be a teacher. I don't want to be a teacher. That's true. But when I, but look at me. But here I am. <laughs> Also, I didn't expect that I can teach children or even adults. And the amazing things are, they like me. Yes, I can say that most of my students, especially kids, like me. And I am always thankful for that. Of course, I got a high booking rate because of them. So that's the, the you know, those are the things that I didn't expect to happen in my life. Okay. <laughs> Number seven, um, what is your message to the newbies or new teachers in Akadzog? Wow, okay, teachers, listen. In the first place, congratulations and welcome to Akadzog family. So first, mm, don't lose hope. If you don't get 
any bookings on your first week that's normal been there done that <laughs> so if you conducted a class make sure that you show a positive vibes to your students that's really important talk slowly but smile or I mean talk slowly and smile okay be neutral in your accent and don't make it too slang you know what I mean remember they need to understand us clearly if that is your first meeting meeting if that is your first meeting with with that student make sure to impress them and for me to impress uh, to impress the students the things that you need to do is be energetic you need to be energetic but not too much of course use tpr like like what i'm doing right now i don't know maybe <laughs> you know nasanay lang sorry so yeah um use tpr always praise and use positive words to your students they like it if you have a kid student and you saw their mom or dad with them say thank you to them before you leave the classroom so you can play an english songs related to their lessons before or after the class and always follow the lesson flow that is really important for the qa remember so don't lose hope teachers look at me now imagine my english is not that good if you can see i'm just trying my best trying hard so but i make sure that i am well prepared during class besides we have a lot of resources google is there we can use cambridge dictionary it's really helpful believe me be confident don't show that you are nervous yes if the lesson is hard just smile and pretend Pretend that you know the lesson. Remember, you are the teacher, so you have the control in the class. You need to know how to do multitasking, so remember that to my fellow teachers. Okay, that's it for tonight, so thank you. That's all. So I just answered these seven questions just to share about me, what I am doing right now, and most importantly, my message to all teachers or to all newbies or new teachers in Akadsak. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Okay. Hello ulit. Thank you nga pala sa mga nanood ng video na to. So, PS lang pahabol. Sorry kung mali-mali pa rin ako or hindi pa rin ako ganun kagaling mag-English but look at me. I'm still here. Laban lang, kapit lang. So, yun nga, sabi ko naman sa inyo, hindi naman kailangan maging fluent tayo dito sa language na to. As long as confident tayo and meron tayong puso, heart sa pagtuturo. And ipakita nyo na kaya nyo. Yun lang yun. So, um, kung makikita nyo naman... Yung, mga, yung sentence structure ko, uh, mali-mali, sablay. So, okay lang yun. Alam ko naman naintindihan nyo yun eh. So, keep on practicing. Keep on. Practice makes progress. <laughs> Tinan nyo, nag expired na agad yung English ko. So, thank you ulit sa pananood. And again, I hope you like it, guys. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung kaya ko, kaya nyo rin. So, practice lang ng practice tulad ng ginagawa ko. I'll see you again next time, okay? This is Teacher Tara. Good night.